Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a slot machine with pistons. Keep in mind, this one that I've created only has one slot. sound okay let me just set the sensitivity it's not at my comfort level okay this is the machine let me show you how it works first so you come in here this is where the slots are this is the slot. Uh, glowstone means you lose, and diamonds means you win. This is where a prize comes out, and you press this to start. Okay, well, it's glowstone. I lost. So, and you heard that sound. That means that it's over. It's done. So, I'll show you how it works. button starts this over here comes all the way over here puts into this thing this right here these six blocks causes a one tick pulse so now this puts into here so now this starts cycling let me just turn this off first this starts cycling this is the off button to turn it off this starts cycling and there's one repeater in between each piston so that it will turn and leave one space open so that it can push um... obsidian at the end redstone connecting all the pistons and also at the same time this thing is triggering a pulse over here which is constantly spitting something out of this dispenser if it spits out a sapling then it goes straight into the hopper and goes into that chest over there so I can refill it if it spits out an arrow which is unlikely it will hit this and trigger this redstone now that causes this to extend and shuts off this pulse so it will stop spitting out items it also will trigger this which stops this from moving now after this stops moving there will be a set block here and this this redstone will be lit after this turns on so now it puts a signal out here and it splits off here now this goes into the block if it's glowstone it, it won't go through if it's diamond it will it goes through it'll trigger this to give you your prize which would be a diamond and then it triggers this little sequence of no blocks which I can show you right here see that's what it plays when you win and if you lose it just doesn't do that at, at all now, whether or not you win or lose, it will go here and play this. Now, this tells you that the pistons have stopped moving, just so that you aren't waiting in anticipation. And then, after that, if you've won, then it will play that sequence, and then you get your prize. Let's just play it again. taking a while Oop. 
I won. Okay. So, let's just... I'll just show you all of it in case you want to replicate it. This is the pulse. This is piston turning off that pulse. Show you what's in here. Let me just refill that. Those turn off when I take the arrow out. You will have to reset it after every play to take the arrow out. But you could just come back here and whoever is playing, if you're in multiplayer, you, you could test it on other people. They can press the button and then after every person goes, just take the arrow. That'll work. Um, here's this. Turning off the pulse. And here. This triggers that. And this is the loop. So it'll keep going. Down here. Keep in mind there is a one tick repeater in between each piston so that they don't all go at the same time. This turns it off. And there you go. Now if you really want, this can be used for any machine just to output one tick. Let me get this and a lever right here. And I need one of these. Here we go. Goes like so. Put the lever here. Redstone here. Torch. Repeater on the th third setting. So you flick it twice. And there you go. When you hit this, it'll put one tick right there. And that's about it for the slot machine. Just finish. Hope you guys like it. Hit like and subscribe. See you later.